Okay, so how is everybody doing? I know this hasn't kicked into anyone else's uh, feed yet, and my connection says it's very bad, so I apologize. My camera's a little crazy. Um, so we're just gonna wait a few minutes for everybody to pop in. Um, hey, I'm getting people in here. All right, guys, so this is the finishing up of the maple syrup. I'm not sure if we are going to get maple syrup today or not. Hey, Pittsburgh Dave. Um, so let me go over a couple things real quick. Doing well. I am doing pretty good. I am finishing up maple syrup. Hopefully we will get a syrup. We will see. Um, if my connection seems to pop out, just let me know. And I, I'm sorry if I'm looking at this side because I think my camera is like different than I normally put it. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Life out in the country. Hello. Um, what else was I going to do? I need to stoke my fire. John Matthews, hello. Um, let me see. So, our temperature right now is at 210.9. It's gotten up to 213. It needs to hit 219.5 to be syrup. So, today, um, cooking down maple syrup is you want to use wood chunks that are small smaller than this this is too big especially when you're getting close to syrup which means the faster you're gonna get to syrup but a lot of time to split all these guys down um, extra wood Oh, sorry, I was gonna show you this. Woo, don't burn up in there. Okay. Um, so right now here is the, let me turn this around, hold on. Okay. So right now we're at 208. The temperature dropped because when you put wood in, the wood is cold, and so it has to reheat that wood up. Um, so this will slowly come up, see it's one point. 208.5. Um, what part of Michigan do I live in? I live just north of Grand Rapids. Hey, there's Eric. All right, so real quick, ah, tripping over my other wood. So this is what it looks like right now. Why would you not get a syrup? Good question, I'll explain that in just a minute. Okay, so this is a defoaming agent, and I'm just gonna pop this in real quick. Um, I'm gonna steam up my lens, so. You guys can see this, you better take a good look because you're not gonna see this in just a minute. Now this is the area that cooks the most. Ouch, these two. Hey, from Ohio. So, are you ready? Watch this. So we're gonna plug in our fan. Jake Boss, not very far from Grand Rapids. Watch this guys, ready? Can you hear that? All right, I gotta back up. <laughs> there it goes. So all that steam is water evaporating off from the syrup. When did I start collecting maple sap? Oh, it was about a week and a half ago, maybe. Um, so that's our 275 gallon. We got about 200 gallons from 75 trees. Um, not a whole lot. I emptied the buckets yesterday and it was about a half gallon each, so that's not very much okay so why would we not get syrup Hold on. the reason we wouldn't possibly get syrup is because we run a large unit right here this unit alone holds about 15 to 20 gallons just of sap it's a continuous burn system so that means um it's something you're going to use continually throughout maple syrup maple syrup season so some people cook every day, some people every other day, some people once a week. We'll probably do about once a week with 75 trees. So what happens is it has to hit syrup at 219.5, at least for today. The fanciest maple cur- <laughs> This is not the fanciest maple syrup cooker, believe me. This is fairly low tech compared to some of them. Um, so what happens is the maple syrup, or the maple sap, travels 
from that big unit down the tubing into the back and then it has to cook and cook and cook and cook so we've got 200 gallons that you have to cook down it can take 20 hours to cook down 200 gallons of maple syrup now I don't have 20 hours in the day and this has to maintain at least 15 or 20 gallons inside of it so if you've got four gallons of maple syrup potentially in a 200 gallon jug it's going to be sitting here in your unit until the next time you cook so the next time we cook probably within the first 75 gallons we'll get a draw and that draw of syrup yeah it's called sweetening the pan that draw of syrup will all be from this jug right here so it's a continuous relay so the very last cook we do is just everything that's in the pan and it'll be about four to six gallons of maple syrup just sitting in the pan right now it's just potential maple syrup if that makes any sense so it is disappointing but um kind of how it goes i've been watching since your horse video you got me good friend in pawpaw michigan <laughs> yes you got a lot of michigan people on here it's good to see you guys uh, how did I like the farm show? That was awesome. Eric was very jealous that he didn't get to go. I did tap some trees, so. though. Yeah, he got some tree tapping done and the house painted. Um, but it was fun. I mean, I only had two hours because I got there so late. But, hey, I blew through it in two hours. Next year, I'll get down there a little bit earlier. One only farmer and I are going to kick it up and pull some shenanigans. So, uh, all right, I'm going to go split some wood. I'm going to hand the camera to Eric and he's going to talk about some stuff. Oh, Mark, I believe you've been to hell. Okay, my connection is dying. Good old internet for you. So those that left a tip, thank you very much. I honestly thought it was one of those um, paid questions. So I was waiting for the question to come through and then it didn't. And I'm like, what is going on? And then it occurred to me afterwards that it was probably just a tip. So anyway, we went out and got this to help with the live stream because you remember me complaining that I had no way to set up my camera and I needed like a little tripod well we used the money that you guys tipped me with to buy a little tripod system with a light and everything so this will be great um, I do need to tweak the tripod a little bit because it's a little floppity oh James was that from you thanks bud really appreciate it um, do we play any sport ordinance I'm not catching that all right, so I'm going to go split some wood. Eric's going to talk to you. Or are you going to go over the system? Are you going to hold this? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, James. <laughs> All right, so Eric, you can um, flip it by pushing that little button. So, oh, yeah, I need to glue that so it doesn't flop so much. All right, guys. Try leg split. Well, Suzanne's gone. If there's anything you want to know. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Nice. Where's my other glove? Ah, uh, dang it. I lost this up. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go split some wood. For After Effects pre-grilled something. No. Um, still alive. She hasn't killed me yet. Think. Last year when we did syrup. We went through a whole container and maybe a half before we actually got a draw. Yes, it's depressing. Looks like this weekend should be a good flow. I think we should go watch Suzanne chop wood though. I'm bringing wood in right now. Do you switch that? You can switch the little button around and it'll face the other direction. Oh. oh. See that little corner button right there? Oh. See? See, my phone doesn't do this normally for video mode, but it does on YouTube, so that's pretty sweet. I like your finger right there, too. What? I think that's your finger. Oh, Alright, so, the... right there. So you push that button, and it'll do the back camera. There you go. Alright, so, you can videotape the fire if you want. Yeah, see this, uh... Inferno we got in here. Woo! This is where I get my suntan from. Early suntan. Now, you always want to make sure to turn the blower off before you do this. Yeah, about four to five gallons you'll get out of a tote. 
It's anywhere 40 to 50 gallons of sap to get a gallon of syrup. I don't know if we tested the sugar content of this sap or not. I didn't, but I know it was pretty low. I can usually figure it out by taste. You stick your finger in, you lick it off. So it, it is a little bit lower than 1.5 is what I'm going to say, which is not too good. Um, but yeah, I need a little bit more, but we'll start with that. All right. So we got to be careful with our units. We're getting on the low end of our sap. So Put our fire fast and hot and try to get uh, this little screw right here will regulate how deep the sap in the pan is. The lower you run it, the faster it's gonna evaporate. But you do take a more risk of hurting your pans. There's the car just waiting to get out. Any of you guys want to buy a box or we're going to be doing puppies this spring? Hi guys. Hi. So this one right here with a tail, she's imported from Italy. They're not allowed to dock the tails over in Europe. This is our male right here, and he's imported from Russia. And then this girl right here is the daughter of our male. Hi guys. So what we'd wanna do, we wanna breed these two right here this spring. Then we'll get um, some really good Really, really good bloodline pups. And how Suzanne was talking about the high winds, I don't know if you guys can see this way in the back. My neighbor's deer blind, it blew over this year. It's a six by six elevated deer blind. We get some crazy winds out here. How do you see the comments? I don't know how to They disappear really quick. So it looks like she prefers the uh, axe over the splitter. Let me miss a little bit easier. It looks like um, this weekend should be good to that flow. the 28 and then the high of the 40. Yeah, we thought about uh, doing some turbines out here for our power. But it was cheaper to do it with solar. Yeah, we've heard that turbines require a lot more maintenance than solar. But, man, with the winds we get out here, that might be the way to go because I think we get more wind than we do sun. No, the uh, guy was saying that um, you get more beneficial power from solar. Yeah. Yeah, we we definitely need to do something with electric. Um, our last month electric bill was over four hundred dollars, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, we have no snow out here at all. It's crazy for this time of year. It seems like every time we get snow, it's here for a few days and then it's gone. I wish these comments would stay up a little longer. Touch the screen and you can scroll through them. Touch the screen with your finger. I did. I just had a bunch of your pictures come across. <laughs>
all these pictures came across here. Hi, I think I hit a, this button or something. <gasps> Yeah, the... I can't even see it because of the... Yeah, we are crazy busy at work. The truck is... We're waiting on new wheels. Um, they should be in in about a week. They're coming from California. Um, we got new bumpers. Hey, Noble Homestead! New bumpers in the barn waiting to go on. No, I think... I think I hit this. Oh, okay. There you go. And don't get in trouble. Here. We're actually going. Yeah, I got a stack of wood. You don't want to mess with me. <laughs> we're actually going with bigger tires this time, and we're getting rid of the dually fronts. Going with a twenty by twelve rim in the front, so it should look pretty cool. Let's go see how uh, this thing's doing. Hey, watch out. Alright, here comes the Inferno. This year is the best year for winter. Can you guys see the flues in there that stick down into the fire? I think they are seven or eight inch flues. I thought they were nine inch because we had them custom built. Pretty standard is seven. I think we had them built to nine. Yeah, we did get them made a little uh, bigger. Okay. So every time you boil syrup before you draw it off, you have to test the um, bricks and then that's how we set this bottom temperature right here that was last year last year's draw was and it changes day. day by day with um the pressure and stuff because the boiling temperature water changes so my phone I'm, is uh, not switching very good because it's getting cold. I'm gonna give this back to Suzanne. I'm gonna go feed feed the critters. Is it um, is the weather determine the sugar content? Not quite. Um, it in a sense it does. It's the barometric the, the, the barometric pressure that determines um, what temperature you have to cook it to. If that makes any sense. I've seen videos of people splitting wood. Some use a tire or a ratchet strap to hold the bundle together so you can make smaller pieces. So that's an interesting idea. I could use that hay ties. Hey, Noble Homestead. Nice to see you too, girl. Yeah, I know. There you go. Let's get that <laughs> background. I'm Wait. usually stuck at work, Vicky. So go to Modern off -grid and go to a section on wind turbines to be able to find what you're looking for, how much it costs. Yeah, I heard you're you here because of Sharon too. Nice too. to see you. Um, do you make light or dark syrup? Will you check that and make sure it doesn't need any... No, on the... Um, yeah. Just a tiny drizzle. Um, the color of the syrup is determined by a lot of factors. It's not something that you decide to make. Um, some people decide that they want all of their syrup to be the same, so they put it all in 55 gallon drums and mix it all together so it's all the same. Typically, the first run you do is going to be your lightest, and the further you go, the darker it gets. Yeah, the Part longer your syrup cooks on the machine, it'll get darker. If you yes. run your syrup through a reverse a osmosis, Bunch of it'll be a lot lighter syrup. Hey, Fleming. Yes. Um, a lot of people don't like light syrup because there's not as much flavor. Yeah, too. It's, there's not a whole lot of flavor to light syrup. Um, it is interesting, like, I'll go through and taste test every batch we do off the cooker and it will have a slightly different flavor. Most people can't tell, and it probably kind of mellows out in the container. Oh, je suis pas le sous français. Oh, I don't even recognize what that says. Bonjour. My French is a lot rusty. Shower time in England. Well, have a good shower. Hello from Scotland. 
Uh, Modern Upgrade's doing the same thing. He's got a big piece of property in Hawaii. Cows and sheets, why not wind turbine? Um, we did talk to someone about wind turbines and it was a guy that sold them and he said that he's getting out of them because they're having so many issues uh, with maintenance, especially in Michigan because of the snow. You actually have to... Okay. You actually have to climb up on your wind turbine, knock the snow off and then knock the ice off to keep it going. So he said on that token, it's a lot easier to run solar panels because they clean themselves off. You guys are so lucky. <laughs> Well, we actually are lucky in the sense that um, we were able to buy this property for as cheap as we were and in a perfect area. We're all on paved roads, even though we're in the country. So we're five minutes into town one way, five minutes into town the other way. It's a great, great setup, just a great setup. The downside is everything's being turned into housing developments. So that's kind of a bummer. <sighs> Let's see, you can run them half the year. Yes, we could. Maple syrup is awesome on ice cream. That it is. That it is. And I know in Canada and in some of those other places, they pour it in the snow and they make maple taffy. But we're never lucky enough to have much snow when we're doing maple syrup. Hello from Belize. I think I got that right. Let's see. Um, what are those who are saying that you're playing at homesteading? Oh, what about those? Yeah, I mean, I haven't been accused of playing at homesteading. I've been accused of playing at farming, which it's kind of funny because... Uh, a couple years ago, I was at my cousin's wedding and somebody came up to me and they said, oh, I heard you live on a farm. I'm like, yeah. So I told them what we had and they looked at me and they're like, oh, you don't live on a real farm. I'm like, what the crap do you mean I don't live on a real farm? Do I have to have 200 cows to live on a real farm? So anyway, that's my beef on that. Um, so let's see. Just scrolling through this. Syrup is a nice change of smell. It smells amazing. Hello from Pennsylvania, new subscriber. Glad you enjoy my videos. <laughs> Bowl filled with snow. Uh, let's see. The fair and the, and the pub. Oh my shin. Man, I'm really gonna have to brush up on my French, you guys. <laughs> it probably meant you don't have orchard and grass and hay and barley and corn growing. Well, I have hay growing. I mean, our primary exports are maple syrup and hay and chickens and turkeys. Uh, farms are fun, I love being outside and working. I use cows, milk the cows, cut corn, etc. How are you doing today? Hey, 57 Fitter, I'm doing good. There's Noble Homestead, she's a real deal. <laughs> love you, Noble. Okay, Eric's gonna check the fire here. It's a little toasty. All right, let me switch this around. I think I can still read comments. Hey, there we go. Man, that That's why you don't roaring. open it. Show them a picture of it with that fan going. Okay, hello from the Netherlands. Corn plants. Uh, we have planted corn, actually. I have a four-row corn planter. I you know guys, it's sad. Ready? All right, let's go. Open this it up. Is, that's with the fan going. It is crazy. Yeah, we got... Okay, close it before I get caught on fire. I've already burned myself, like, twice today with um, ashes flying out. We're going to have to be really out. careful. There's not a lot of sap, sap left sap in there. Sap up in there. Je ne sais pas le chant and Ooh, I don't know. Je ne sais pas. I don't know the English. I think. I need my friend. My friend is very fluent in French. All right. So our temperature right now is at 213. So unfortunately, that's as close as we're gonna get to syrup. Reason being, I je sais pas. One chance. <laughs> we'll probably cook again. Someday. We got a lot of French people on here. Or maybe our Canadian, sorry. I forget that Canadians speak French too. Hello again. How much have you yet? Well, we don't have any right now. You can see our sap tank right here. That's at 25 gallons. Um, so we don't want to go past that. Translated some of the French. Yeah, I'm trying to advertise my channel. Oh. Aaron wants to say hi. Oh, there's my little bub. Hey, Pookie. Hi. Hi, North hi. Dakota. Wave to the camera. Yeah, this one likes to run off with my Can camera. You hi. Now you're being shy. Google Translator. Yes, I've used that too, uh, Noble. I've used Google Translator. Eric, nice looking boxers. I'm a Drac Russell man. <laughs> 
All right, so um, pretty much we're just gonna let the fire die itself out. I am back and tonight for dinner for me is me, love. Awesome. Did you make it yourself or did your wife make it? We're having pizza tonight. Um, typically we go until nine, 10 o'clock at night, but um, we only had 200 gallons, so. I taste nice car, thank you. Um, I taste a little bit more syrup. Yes, yeah, so you that, can taste a little bit more syrup. This is awesome. Uh, the sap smells amazing. It's just, it's awesome. You're French, I'm sorry. Mom, yeah. No, that's fine. Mom, yeah. You don't need yeah. to apologize for being French. Is there fire in there? Yes, there's hot fire in there. Yeah, I see some little fire. Little fireballs. Little fireballs, yes. And I see zoom, zoom. What the, oh jump. yeah, they are shooting out of there, aren't they? Why? Still got that song stuck in your head. Yeah. Sometimes I walk through the store singing it too. <laughs> um, where do we sell the maple syrup? We actually sing it, mm. sing it, sell it at farmers markets and to friends and family, and occasionally to uh, YouTube subscribers. Okay, you want to blow on that? Thank yes. you. Uh, do I understand English a little bit? Why or? Oh, it's okay. $400 electric bill. For the average person. Yeah. Um, they just installed smart meters on our uh, electric thing. It should not have been $400. That's a little absurd. Cute little man. Yeah, he loves maple syrup. He grew up on it. Ready? There you go. Usually he's sucking it out of the taps if I let him. I but love it. we try to save that for the end of the season. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, he's a good little farm kid. Uh, can Whoa. you put a link in to find out where to get it from you guys? Oh, stay back. Yes. Um, once we start, once we finish off the uh, year, Mom, then I'm going to set up a website. Ah, 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 don't touch that, please. Don't. don't. Just don't touch. No, I need my hat. Okay. Just want to show up your beautiful Mom, little what's hair. That one right here? Yeah, that was supposed to be Mom's dinner. Didn't work out too good. Haven't gotten that far. Um, yeah, so we will do a link. Mom. eBay some syrup. Yeah, you know, I had I actually did start setting up an eBay for that. Um, I don't remember what happened, why I didn't do that. Boy is very cute. Oh, good translation. You got it. Yeah, he's he's a cutie pie. Need a pail of snow so you can make I know I have no snow out here. So, but another thing you can do with this is you can make it into coffee. So what I do is I ladle out. Yeah, my coffee maker's not here. You know what a French press is, right? So you put your coffee grounds in, and instead of pouring boiling water over it, you ladle out some of this delicious cooking sap. And you pour it over your coffee grounds, and it makes the most amazing coffee ever. Kubota tractor. Our neighbor, uh, he has a Kubota something. Eric wants to get a Kubota tractor. That would be his ideal, I think. Um, but, you know, I'm happy with our John Deere couple of miles from Ontario, which is Guinness World Record largest single day maple syrup festival. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. You want summer, big country. Well, it'll be here soon enough. It's almost summer out here. I don't think we're going to get any more snow. I think we're done. Look how nice this is out here. It's just beautiful. Look at that. This is why I love maple syrup season. I mean, you have like beautiful skies, beautiful weather. You know, the nice um, steam cooking. Wait 10 minutes. You're in Michigan, snow and cold will find you. Well, that's probably true. Ah, uh, Lilu. Sorry, I don't speak English. I don't understand. <laughs> Do you understand English? <clears throat> um, or you just can't speak it. How long have we had this unit? Um, this is our, shoot, this is our third year with it, I want to say. Because last year we had a big mess up. We actually burned all of this syrup inside of it. Oh, you gonna mail me some snow garnet? That sounds good. Probably be water by the time he gets here. Um, blah, blah, blah. All the far battles did you try to buy? There is a W that lived there, correct. And all the far, I'm not understanding that. Um, what hour is it in my country? That is a good question. I have no idea what time it is. It's probably six o'clock, maybe? I'm guessing. <laughs> have I tried birch sap before? I have not. And I think we actually do have birch trees. No? No, we don't. We don't have birch trees. But I have heard it's pretty good. 
Uh, it's almost 60 here at the farm. Ohio's a money mess. It is a money mess here too. Our backwoods are terrible, just terrible. I wanted to go back and tap some more trees, but I'm kind of holding off because I just don't know how long. Uh, au revoir. Uh, how long it's gonna hold up. 6.02, hey, I was pretty good on time. 6.02 Eastern time, look at that. I've got a good head for time. Did you try my app that I sent you to watch your Bachelor of Shows at Trium TV? Um, I don't think I got that comment very good, because the comments that you guys say on here don't stick on the video, so they're basically gone forever. <laughs> so if I don't lodge it in my memory, it kind of fades off too. Have you ever tried to steam anything with the steam coming off the maple syrup steam? Um, not really. Um, I've tried heating up the sap, but that's about it. In my country, it's two times D. I'm, I think it's supposed to be French. Tayun. It's, I'm going to guess that's two o'clock in the morning. Two o'clock, that's really, <laughs> that's really late. All right. Okay. All right. So I thought about taking some soot and like wiping it on my face, but yeah, we'll save that for next time. Um, so unfortunately there won't be any syrup coming off from this today, but this will not be the last one we do. The next cook we do, um, I'll monitor the temperature. You can actually see it's dropping and it has to drop because we have to kind of let the system run through. Um, otherwise it's all going to burn in the pan and that would be bad. So the next time I do a cook, which I'm not sure when that's going to be, maybe next week, maybe later this week, it just depends on the weather, um, I'll do another live video and I will show you what it looks like when the maple syrup comes out, because that's actually the coolest part. Um, our system is automated right here, so when you set the temperature, it has a little sensor right here, and it will shoot out the syrup when it hits, it'll just be like, so that's a lot of fun. Boiling the sap takes the water out. Yes, it does. Yep, and then you're left with um, basically caramelized sugar, pretty much. Is the horse with a feed? Is he still acting crazy? Um, I think you're talking about my Palomino Moisey. Um, he's not crazy. He's just being his naughty self. A lot of it, I think, is boredom. Tell you, no, it's okay. Don't worry about your English. I understand. I know English isn't the main language for everybody, especially if you're overseas. Uh, let's see. Just got here. How's the syrup going? Is it all good? And do you sell your syrup? Uh, yes, I do sell the syrup. I've had a couple subs buy some already. Um, I don't have any to buy yet until we get syrup coming out right here. Um, but I will let you guys know when I do. And I'll let you know the pricing. And I'm trying to figure out more better ways to ship it because it's expensive to ship. Um, let's see. Lots of fun watching your videos. I'm glad you guys like them. Yes, Tayu and I do have horses. I have three horses right now. Um, I do have a couple horse videos. Um, I think they're listed under animals. I did try to go through and categorize my videos so you guys could, you know, go through them a little easier. <sighs> uh, let me see here. Um, would I try steaming something to see if it changes the flavor? I don't know that the sap itself has much flavor to it. Um, <laughs> white tail bushcraft, all about raw and real. Yes, um, that's pretty much what I try to make it. I mean, I do edit out a lot of my talking. Like, I go subscribe to you. Yes, Tayun, you'll enjoy the videos. Um, cool to see YouTube live from another country. That is probably true. I don't think I've seen anyone else live from another country. Um, that would be interesting. I love like looking at European countryside. I've only been over there once, but maybe someday again. Tu passe sur ma chaîne bon TSTP. You pass. Oh man, I wish I would have studied up on my French a little bit more. Birch syrup. Um, we don't make birch syrup. You can also make black maple syrup too. Um, 
my dad has a lot of black maple trees and that's one I've thought about doing. Actually, if you want to make some good money, black maple syrup is, sorry, not black maple, what am I saying? Black walnuts, black walnut trees. It's very, very hard to make syrup from black walnut trees, but it's very expensive. Like, usually it's a dollar an ounce for maple syrup. It's seven dollars an ounce for black walnut syrup. No joke. Maybe someday I'll try that, maybe next year. Um, how many turkey chicks are you going to get this spring? Whew, that is a good question. Um, if you look at the uh, turkey attack video, Eric's not a big fan of the turkeys and neither are the kids. So we'll have to talk about that one and see. Um, you know, honestly, if I could put them in with the cows, that wouldn't be too bad. We'll see, we'll see. Um, should try a chicken over this steam. I bet it'll come out with a sweet taste. Uh, thanks, Big Country. Glad you liked the videos. Our sap has quite a bit of flavor. Holy cow! You guys have 3.6% sugar? That's insane! I think we're at, like, 1.5. But we're in muckfest woods, so our trees just don't... The flavor is great that comes off from them, but they have a much lower sugar content. I might go and um, tap some of the trees in town because we've got big giant maple trees in town. And I thought maybe I could trade some syrup to let me tap the trees. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I did watch uh, OLF's live feed from the, from the bathtub. I don't think it was live. I think I watched it after it happened. Um, <laughs> oh, he cracks me up. Uh, will I put up more live video chats? Yes. I do them when I think they're going to be useful. Um, I like video chats, but I don't know. Sometimes they can be long and drown out, and people that rewatch them later, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. My favorite show, Green Acres. Arnold the Pig Wolves. <laughs> Actually, I used to watch Green Acres a long time ago. Uh, let's see. What is your intention on YouTube? I think what she means is, um, why do I do YouTube? Um, there's actually a couple of reasons why I do YouTube, and I was going to make this into another video. But one was because my friends thought I was absolutely nuts posting all my pictures and stuff on Facebook. So I thought, you know what? I think girls need to get out and they need to do this stuff a little bit more often. So why not kind of like show girls and guys that it's okay to just try it even if you fail at it it's okay to just get out there and try because you're not going to lose anything you're just going to gain knowledge so that was my first reason i uh, just subbed to your channel yesterday so far you're great thank you uh let's see will you do anything when you go to plant your garden for this season Whew. garden's a touchy subject with me i'm not so very good at that. I'm still thinking about that one in my head. If I'm going to do one, I will definitely post it. I try to post on everything I do, but I've got like 100 videos still on my computer that I have to go through and figure out if I'm going to delete them or post them. I don't know. It gets it gets complicated the more videos you shoot. Oh, Noble Homestead wants a hat! <laughs> Love the videos from Lansing, Michigan. Hey, kind of my neck of the woods, so to speak. Okay, I can't read through all these. Do I run through an osmosis system? Reverse osmosis. I want a hat, though I'm not running around with a girl hat on. <laughs> um, on another note, if you guys, guys, like a different design of a hat, just let me know. Because that was one of my thoughts, is that maybe the design of the hat is a little bit too girly with the, uh, you know, WC farm girl. So I'm thinking maybe I could shorten it up to like WTFG and then like some sort of slogan. So, I don't know. I'm kind of playing with that. Um, you guys can think about that and tell me what you think later. Reverse osmosis is extremely expensive. You're looking at thousand to $5,000 for an RO system. Um, <laughs> WTF girl calendar. Yes, Eric suggested that too. Um, we might look into that for next year. We'll have to shoot a photo for every season. That, that's a good idea. <laughs> you guys know Eric's like reading these comments in the other room, right? <laughs> um, now he knows. He's fine. 
Um, so the problem with the RO systems is that they take away a lot of the flavor of your syrup. Um, it does cut back on a lot of your cook time, which is great, but then you sacrifice flavor. So I'd rather take five grand and put in a vacuum system because then I can hook it up and shoot all my syrup right to this thing. But yeah, um, it's all, it's all expensive. Like this thing right here is like $2,000. I know Eric is probably going to have to clarify this. $2,000, $2,000. And then we got that and that. I mean, everything adds up. And when you've got the cost of the equipment and you're barely getting much of anything out of your maple syrup, you don't want to, like, dump tons of money into anything you farm. You don't. Look at what you're getting back for profit. If you're not getting back much for profit, don't dump a whole bunch more in. That's just the way it is. Look and see how you can finagle finances around, get a better product, get more income coming in, then you upgrade. So, um, for the people that say, hey, you build a sugar shack, well, yeah, but we gotta find a better way to collect sap first so we can pay for everything and make it profitable. Because that's always what you wanna do on a farm. Put a swimsuit addition on the hat. <laughs> how would I do that? What, WTFG sugar shack, yeah, that's a good one. Um, let's see. If the shack is shaking, the syrup's in the making. That is true. It's a steaming in here. Need a part-time job to make syrup. Yeah. Yep, that's about the size of it. Although, I did read, they said that the average hobbyist, which is anybody producing under a thousand taps, makes on average $3 per tap. Now, the average commercial industry which is over a thousand taps makes fifteen dollars per tap so it's just they're able to streamline everything down and you know everything pays for itself a lot faster so that's kind of how it is with farming christmas tree farmer oh there you go headed to your area in early april to pick up seedlings gobbles in allegan michigan is that our, my area uh, allegan i think is south of me it's about like 45 minutes away do i barter for stuff that we make and sell for other things that you need on the farmstead you like that noble homestead she's an awesome lady yes um we have a little bit bartered for stuff with our maple syrup um like my neighbor gave me a bunch of his ducks that he didn't want so we gave him some syrup in return um, he was looking at doing like a barter for hay for some of his pigs, but then Eric decided he didn't want any pigs in the freezer. So, um, yeah, we kind of do barter a little bit, not as much as a lot of people do. <laughs> what your farm's hat? <laughs> uh, let's see. There's something else. Something about how many gallons of sap will you go through in a season? And how many gallons of syrup will it make? Um... I don't have an exact number for gallons of sap because we won't, every year it changes for us, we don't have like a streamlined system yet. So like last year I did 175 taps. This year I've only got maybe 75. So it's a lot different, which changes your sap collection, obviously. So last year I think we would have gotten about 12 gallons of syrup. And that was from 175 taps. Why do I always look like I'm crying? Do I always look like I'm crying? Probably so. <sighs> Are we still... He's a live show, I can't tell. Yes, it's still live. I sent it to your Instagram. If it's still live so you can watch... Oh, the best way. Thank you! I see you guys got the syrup building back up from the videos. Months looks really good. Yep, we got it fixed up. Um, I did do a video on fixing it up, but it's just, I get behind on videos, way behind. So my kid is out here playing again. No, actually, he's in trouble because, hey, stay out of that, that's, that's Muck. He swapped boots with his buddy at school. They have identical boots, but his buddy's like a foot taller than him. And his boots are ginormous, so. They don't fit his little feet, and his buddy has his boots, and I'm like, 
You gotta get your boots back, kid. We got muck out here. If you step in that muck, it's gonna pull that boot right off. Animals are done. Oh, good job. Thank you, hon. Yeah. Eric's back. All right, so I don't think you guys can see that sunset back there. Oh, got some good sunsets out here. Now well, let's see, two fine pairs of socks. Yeah, but you know, a couple pairs of socks. And I mean, this kid gets his boots like sucked off. I mean, we got like soul sucking mud out here. Hey, Fleming says hi. Did hey. <laughs> right. that wood burn up all by itself? Yeah, it does. All right, so this is how much sap we have left. So, and it will probably suck all the rest of that down tonight. Kind of good. Huh? Kind of good. Yeah. Nice sunset. One of my favorite perks on our farm. See you later. Bye, David. So, this is pretty much done. Kind of sad because I got my uh, filter uh, system already. Mom? So, this is what it looks like. See how light that is? It's like not much. I, yeah, 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 oh, I should have. we plug it? Um, you want me to plug it? Yeah, I guess you can or plug it. It doesn't. I don't even think we got Elkhart, much. Elkhart, Indiana. No, we do have gradient. Plug it so we can keep I that don't gradient. Know how to plug that. White tail bushcraft up there. Yeah, right there. We probably already lost the gradient. Take, take care, white tail bushcraft. Great video. Your family is I great. You guys keep rocking. Too. Yep, we will keep it up. Oh, look, I can see you. Wait, Bob. Hi. I'll be able to do it. I Does the dogs me. bother any chickens again? <laughs> no, we've got them pretty well under lock and key, I, I hope. Mom, I can see inside. When you want mom to lift you up? Lot. Okay. Well, you have to do it with tongs. Get the uh, the tongs out of the kitchen, and then you grab it and you stuff it in. You, you don't use your hands. That's not gonna work. I think I we probably lost the ingredient. Please. I don't know. Mom, I'll please. Look. Yeah. What? No. You please look. You want to see inside there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you get too big for this kid. Okay, careful. Is that hot? <laughs> you can blow that steam off. All right, so I'll show you guys this real quick. Now, when you cook in a pan like this, you have a gradient, which I think it's already switching. So pretty much this pan should be lighter than this pan. This pan should be a little bit darker, and then this one darker, and then this one the darkest, because this is our final syrup pan. Um, so on a professional system, it actually has like little levers you can flip, and it'll close everything off. But Aaron's answer. Get your foot down from there. You're gonna collapse that whole thing. Yes, down, 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 so, down. We use corks. Yeah, so we're gonna cork the holes. Cork your hole. Just shove it in there and. Um, hey, Neptune, Indiana. Keep up the explanations. Hey, Jerry. Aaron, get off the wood pile. So, yep. So, now we're not sure if this actually helps or not, but the idea is to keep the gradients somewhat stabilized. Did you get it? Do you want me to do it? <laughs> it's not exactly the easiest thing to stuff a cork in these holes. I mean, they're not designed to have corks stuffed into them, but we're trying to keep things a little bit better in the pan. Does raw sap evaporate just sitting in a pail? Um, probably very slowly, just like water would. Uh, uh, Noble Homestead, yes. I tweeted you alive. Anyone here from Twitter, that would be awesome. You know, I don't even know if my family's been on here, because I tweeted that I was going live today, or uh, said on Facebook I was going live, but I haven't heard anything from anyone, so. Are you going back to the same tree that you got the first 25 gallons out of? So you're going back to the same tree that you got the first 25 gallons, and then we'll have more next week, and then we'll eventually... I think, James, what you're trying to say is, and I don't think English is your first language, is it? Because I thought you are from England? Overseas somewhere? Sorry, James. Um, yeah, we're going to go back in the woods probably tomorrow. I'll go check the taps and see how much sap we have. Um, so as soon as we get another tank full, at least 200 gallons, we'll cook it down again. And then all of the syrup that's sitting here right now in the pan. So we've got about... Maybe three gallons sitting here right now, mixed in. Um, when we put another unit up there, 
all that syrup that's in here will get shoved over to here. And it'll keep cooking until it's all syrup and then it'll spit out this line right here and into our filter, which I'll show you this real quick. This is a very fancy water jacketed bottler, which actually most commercial facilities don't even use. So these are the filters. James, I'm sorry to hear you're homeless. What? So this is the uh, the filter pan. I don't think I can get it out. It's stuck in there. And it's hot. I forgot it's hot. All right, so that's what the inside looks like. So that little hole is where the syrup comes out of our spigot. And these are the filters right here. You actually, back here, you fill it with water. And there's actually, I think we run like seven or eight pre-filters and then there's a I main run, filter. I run 15, but I've only got seven today. And then these filters will, these filters will clog up with sediment. So then you just peel a layer off and then you're good to go again. It's kind of like a coffee filter. Oh, what are you doing? There it is. Raptor crazy. James Westy, everybody talks on the phone, but now everybody's on the computer. It translates difference. Uh, keep it washed out really nice. The plugs will go on easier. Sat builds up really quick. Yes. It's fun watching the syrup made. Yeah, I'm sorry we actually didn't get syrup today, but next time we will, and we will do another live video. So, it'll be a little bit more interesting because it's like, um, you know how, you know, you're sitting there and you're waiting for a surprise on Christmas and you're waiting and you're waiting and you're like, yay, it's kind of like that. So you're sitting here waiting for this temperature thing to hit your temperature degrees and you're like, come on, baby, let's roll. And then, boof, there it goes. And you're like, whoa, or sometimes it's like getting there, getting there, getting there, and then one degree away, and then poof, it goes back down. You're like, no! Not even a degree, like maybe a, a tenth of well, a degree. Well, yeah, a tenth of a degree, because this calculates it to the tenths of a degree. So, like, last year, our draw temperature was 22... 221.3. Um, so that was the temperature we were making syrup at. And it takes a long time to get to that temperature. But it gets there eventually. Whew. Yes, we do have a pretty good setup. I'm always tweaking it, always trying to make it a little more improved. Hello? Let's see, sorry. So last year when you fired it up, how many times did it take before syrup came out? Once, twice, three times. Um, second time. It was the second time, so probably I'd say... Halfway through. Um, it takes two hours for the pants to really heat up really good, so probably it'd have to burn through 75 more gallons at least to push out that syrup. 250 gallons of sap with none to show. Well, it's in the pan, so it's still here, but it's just the type of system that we run that um, you don't usually get syrup your first run. That's just kind of how it is. Is this for the family? It's for the family and we do sell it. We go through about three gallons ourselves and then the rest we typically sell. So. Like last year, we would have gotten about 12 gallons, so we would have sold probably nine gallons worth. Um, but we ended up burning six gallons of maple syrup in this pan here. And that was kind of a crazy story because it was our very last cook and the pan was full just like this, all right? So the more cooks you do, the higher the sugar concentration this sap gets, right? because you're adding more gallons of maple syrup in here. There's less water, more syrup. So it only has to take a little bit of time before it's fully maple syrup. So you have to be very, very careful. So what happened was these two pans hit syrup and then boom, the other ones hit syrup too. And because the other ones go down into the fire, they burn instantly. Charcoal, just filled with charcoal. It was the most horrible thing you'd ever seen. It ruins your pans, ruins all of your syrup. You have to throw everything away. Smell like burnt marshmallows. Yeah. Yep. So the irony was, Eric and I were both sitting here when it happened, talking. Neither one of us caught it. Neither one of us caught that it was 
boiling up too high. So, yeah. How much did this setup cost, you guys? And did you get a break on taxes for this for your homestead? Um, we do run tax deductible for our farm stuff. Um, oh, I'd say, what, you'd say five grand for total setup? Four to five. Four to five grand for the total setup. Uh, all the bobcats and everything. Um, yeah. We did save money because we built our own arch. So an arch probably would have been at least another 2000 This is actually a steam table. That is crazy. Eric was actually very talented in building this. And I got to help. Um, we gutted it. We turned it into an arch. And lined it with fire brick. And this thing cost us 50 bucks. So I think the evaporator was... Evaporator was 2500 This computer was around 500 I believe. Oh, okay. And then the bottler was another 600 No, this, this was... The bottler was almost as much as this. Maybe it was a thousand. It was expensive. I think it was at least two thousand for that. Oh, I'm gonna unplug that. Um, let's see. Right Have we tried to contact other maple syrup companies that sell to help make money for yourselves? Um, I know other people do if they have issues selling their syrup. We've never had issues selling. Usually I sell out. If I take this to a farmer's market, I can pretty much sell out everything. Um, I'm a pretty good salesperson with syrup. Uh, you better start charging $20 a pint because it's going to take you a lot of bottles to even break even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine how they made boil sap in the 1800s. Pretty fascinating. Yeah, they put it in a big pack and it took forever. You guys should have seen our first setup we had out here. Yeah, I was going to do a video. There I'm going to do a video of... um. Two 55-gallon barrels that we cut in half and boiled out of those. No, it was one. No, one 55-gallon that we put over a fire. Right, we end up running two, though. Just wondered. Yeah, I got your Raptor. Noble Homestead says, I've had that syrup, proud to say. If you can buy some, do. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at... Uh, the sun is setting. I need to go eat some more pizza. So if you guys have any other questions, my, my and again, you can buy um, my, my name. the hats yeah. on a... My name. Good job, Oh, dude. good job, buddy. I do have hats for sale. I have very limited quantities. Um, I think I might do when you run for 10,000 subs. So I think it would be kind of cool doing like different hat designs based on how many subs. So like if we ever had a big sub meet and greet, people wore the old hats and be like, Oh my gosh, you must have been one of the original first 5,000 subscribers. So, anyway, just trying to think ahead down the line of the future. We'll come up with some new hat designs. Um, some more masculine designs. Although Eric's not too ashamed to wear his curly hat. I like it. You like it? Yeah. That's good. I like it. Hey, Bob. So, something about... Oh, careful. Mom. Cool. Mom. Would using coal in the firebox Mom. produce better heat than wood? Get a picture of the moon. Oh, uh, hold on. Did you guys see the moon? Hold on. Let me Sun show and you. the moon looked good tonight. Well, the moon actually this morning was bright orange. There, see, there's the moon. Um, coal would not do better. It would actually burn a little bit cooler than the fire. A lot of big producers will burn. They burn propane or oil. Natural gas, propane. Yeah, they burn natural gas and propane. And then it's you can keep a consistent temperature really. Yeah, easy. you have to use fire. Fire, just it's I don't know. The big producer we talked to, it costs them um, one gallon of syrup per hour to run the gas. So it's about fifty dollars an hour to run a a gas other than wood. We have a lot of wood though, so it's free. Um, how do you do on Volvo with the video from the farm tractor stuff? I'm not quite sure what you mean on that one, Raptor. Sorry. Volvo. Um, you're great. I found your vids about two weeks ago and love them. Glad you like them, Dave. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky. How'd I do with the Louisville, Kentucky? You guys kind of live the way my great-grandparents and my grandparents lived out in the country. Glad you like it. And my kid is... 
getting ready to bash the car. Yeah, you gotta be careful around the car, bud. <laughs> Boys. All right, so I will, um, oh, Joseph, I will still get a hat after I find a job. I'm just hanging on the wall in my garage or in my truck. Actually, I, I think a couple of people that have bought hats, that's what they do is they hang in as a memento. So that's cool too. Um, so anyway, you guys take care. Have a good night. Uh, Raptor says, I saw your video in Louisville, Kentucky when he went to the farm show. Well, here, not put it in the farm comments. Oh. Made, Sorry. Hey, still going at it. Yep, we're shutting down Dylan. Sorry. <laughs> All right. You guys take care. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. And um, if we get lucky, maybe I'll do another one later on in the week. Ah, oh, I just missed it again. Did you miss it this morning too, Dylan? I'm sorry. You'll have to just rewatch it. Sorry, bud. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye, Noble.